Um, Peggy, please. Thanks very much. And um, I, I've been out speaking a lot, and I'm starting to lose my voice. But uh, I'm very happy to be here this evening because I think what you're doing is so important here at Student Vote. Because I do uh, meet, as I go door to door, a lot of young people, um, young adults who can vote and aren't necessarily engaged in the electoral process. Um, and I have to say, I identify with that. Unlike, I think, everyone else on the panel, I came to electoral politics and, and running in electoral politics fairly late in my life. Um, uh, my parents, I think, instilled in me as, as newcomers to Canada a sense of, of, if you see a problem, find a solution, try to get something done about it, and a basic sense of fairness. And uh, that translated into my workplace. I got involved in my union, um, and I got involved in my community in human rights issues, uh, the women's movement, anti-poverty work. And I think a lot of my working life was about combining um, workplace issues and issues in the community. So when I was in negotiations, I, I tried to negotiate uh, uh, programs uh, to help women who were facing violence or families who needed childcare. Um, we bargained one of the first agreements uh, uh, for same-sex couples to enjoy uh, health benefits. Um, and it was only later that I really uh, began to see that you can be involved in the community and you can advocate for a lot of things, but that it really does matter who is elected and who has a vote, just as it mattered when I was in negotiations, who was actually involved in negotiations. It matters who is elected, who has a seat in parliament, who gets to vote and make decisions. And um, I think what, what motivated me was in the 1990s seeing a lot of changes that I felt were negative in our society, a lot of cuts that took place. Uh, I felt our city was declining, our programs, our social programs were being cut back, and just this sense of responsibility. If you see a problem, get involved and try to fix it. And uh, a couple of people inspired me to, to think about running, and so I got involved in the political process. And I have to say, you know, I, I'm someone who had, had spoken out a lot about women being involved in politics, and uh, it was good that somebody gave me a little push off the ledge to finally get involved my, myself, because I do believe we need more women's voices in the House of Commons. We are about 50th in the world, and we can do much better. Um, in, in a variety of, of, um, of, um, of examples of our diversity, but especially with women. Um, the things that I ran on, investment in social programs, investment in infrastructure, improving our environment, um, job creation, these are the things that uh, the NDP is committed to. And in this campaign especially, uh, you know, we, we are still coming out of a recession, we have a deficit. I don't think people, I don't think their minds are in huge new initiatives unless we can pay for them. So we have to have a, an eye to deficit reduction, but people do want to make sure, uh, sorry, it's, oh, 20 seconds. People do want to make sure that we're investing in post-secondary education, which is a priority for us that we're making sure no senior is living in poverty, that we're investing in housing, and the kinds of social programs that people need, uh, and, and especially in job creation. And I look forward to getting into more detail in all of these areas in your questions. Thank you. Thank you, Peggy.